What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. <clears throat> Today we're gonna be doing some a Fortnite video, but we're not gonna be playing Battle Royale. You may have seen some other YouTubers do this. I know Hudson 10 did it. But we're gonna be trying out Squid Game or Squad Game so uh, the people who made this don't get sued. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right into Squid Game. And honestly, guys, this game mode is lots of fun if you like playing Fortnite, but you're not really a huge fan of what the Battle Royale is right now. This game mode is a lot of fun to play, <clears throat> especially with friends. So we're going to be trying getting a win today, and I'll try and at least show you most of the game modes in it. It's pretty simple once you um, have played them all once. It's a lot like the actual Squid Game show. So at the start, it's just waiting for players for a while. And then after a little bit, it will take you in. See, we're in the area right now. <clears throat> From if you have like one before, you'll get like coins and you can buy stuff at the shop. I have uh, 47 coins. I think you get 10 every time you win. But you get coins for just making it far also. <clears throat> and then most of the stuff is like, I think the most expensive is like 5 coins. So the first game is not really a game. It's kind of just stair climbing. Uh, sometimes it skips it though. Yeah. Okay, so this is not an actual game. You can lose on it and you can continue, guys. This is just like a game that you can play while it the while it, it is um waiting for players. It'll pro it usually puts you in this if the players aren't full by the time um after like a minute, it'll put you in this and let you do this while you wait. But this actually does not matter if you win or lose this. Like, I could jump off in the lava, I'd still make it to the first game. And then, yeah, so this is pretty easy once you know the path. So, yeah, guys. Go ahead and go through here. And then that was just like a game to play while you're waiting. I know it says it's a game, but it's really not. And then I'll be showing you guys kind of a strategy that I do. For this game for all of them really okay guys so red light green light is about to start up in 10 seconds uh, money was just added it always gets added even if everybody survives which everybody does survive that first one and here we are in red light green light this one's pretty easy what I like to do is get away from the crowd and go far to the like left or the right and then just it's pretty easy you can't really lose okay you'll hear it and it'll show up then you dance and then whenever you, it'll auto stop you whenever you stop dancing then you know you're free to go you don't have to dance but I like to do it just to make sure I don't go when it's still red. Uh oh, I might have gotten out there. Okay, and then people, you can buy a speed boost in the shop, but I would not waste your money on that. Since this game is pretty easy to begin with and it's not really worth the coins. The main thing that I would recommend buying is, um, is uh, this so I'll show you guys if you're gonna plan on fighting I'd buy 50 shield and if if you make it to game 5 definitely buy low gravity it's super super helpful if you get there so right like I said guys I'll be back once the next game starts red light green light is pretty easy okay guys honeycombs is starting up in about 10 seconds and this one is pretty simple. Um, after this one though, night fight is going to happen. And I'll show you guys like a good place to hide for that. 
So it actually does not matter where you stand. I could go stand in the corner over here and it would still be random. So I actually will do that. See, I was over near the corner and I got umbrella. It is pretty easy, all of them. You can also buy an RBG for that game, but that's a pretty much a waste of money. I think so anyways. But now guys, we're on Night Fight. And I know it's not saying Night Fight beginning soon, but you know it's gonna be starting up soon. So what I would do, once you're in, I would come right here, jump on this barrier, jump on these beds, then up here, over to this bed, then over here, and then I would come over here, but if there's people over here on those corners when it starts, I would jump over to this bed. Okay? So, I'll see you guys once the night fight starts. Okay guys, so, night fight is about to start up, and from the looks of it, no one is trying to come over to my spot, really. But what I'm actually going to do, since it's open, I'm going to come up here, right to the corner by the camera, and sit here. Because this is arguably the, one of the safest spots is up here by the camera. It's very safe. I honestly, unless you really want to, I recommend not fighting during this. Because you have a good chance of losing. Unless you buy that shield, then you might be able to uh, stay alive. But... Now night fight is basically over, so you can just come down here. Then, Tug of War, arguably the most rigged game. If your team's not good, you're not going to make it. So hopefully I make it through this. This is the game that I usually fail on. Um, Looks like, ooh, I think it's even. Okay, so on this game you have like harpoons. And you pull them over, you try and hit the other team, and I already got out. So we were on the right side, and it looks like we're actually gonna lose, guys. Yeah, one versus two, not looking great. You should go for that standing still guy. Ooh, uh, dang it. Yeah. So, yeah, game three is pretty difficult. Okay guys, so I have actually joined back and I spent 10 of my coins to do it But I joined back. I waited a little bit that way I could skip the marbles challenge and go straight to the Glass challenge, so I'm gonna come up here grab low gravity before it's too late Yeah, see me and this pug both skipped it so oh three of us did so, now people from Marbles are probably going to start flowing in. Now, this is a game where you r really do not want to... I'll explain it when we're at it. And I'll just see you guys when it starts. Okay, guys. Glass Stepping Stones is about to start in 8 seconds. So, we're going to get ready for that. Make sure you have purchased your low gravity if you don't want to you don't have to but I highly recommend it because you jump very high now so on this game you kind of just want to wait for the other people to go you don't want to be first and people will try and bait you with that water bottle that does not mean anything okay so as you can see this guy was brave this guy is still brave. He got two in a row. And, ooh, triple. It's definitely going to be a cross now. Oh, quadruple. And once they move one more farther, you if you have the low gravity, you can make this jump to the platform. Once they move one more. So now... I can make it straight to the platform, just jump over, and I have completed the game. So now, we just gotta wait and see if there's anyone that's gonna be playing Squid Game with us. Most likely, usually the game ends on Glass Stepping Stones, guys. Sometimes it will go to Squid Game. And this time it does! There's two other competitors, okay. 
I never really played Squid Game, but I do. I have watched someone do this, and their strategy was pretty good. So I'm gonna try it out. In this game, you guys are gonna have flint knocks, and you gotta hit each other outside. Three, two, one. Oh no, I didn't crouch. Okay guys, so I lost, but that sucks. I lost it, but that was the last game, and I did showcase all the games, as you can see I've seen. I've won, I've won three times. So, that is basically uh, Squid Games. It only takes around 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Mine took 12 to play this. It is definitely shorter than normal matches. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to beat Squid Games, and I'll see you guys in the next one.